Welcome everyone, Ionan here. I'm bringing you the Concept Egress, courtesy of the Apex Knife Group. Let's jump right into some basic specs. We've got S35VN on a flat, coated flat ground blade, sheep's foot, tan micarta scales, machined pocket clip, liner lock with ball bearings. Three and a half inches of usable fine edge on the blade, four and seven eighth scale length, eight and a quarter tip to tail, 3.9 ounces in weight on this knife. Nice little nested liners on there as well. So let's talk about my first impressions and likes. First of all, this knife looks great. This is a really cool looking knife. It's definitely not your usual looking knife, that's for sure. It does remind me a little bit of the uh, of the, one of the Christensen knives that Kaiser made. The name is escaping me at the moment. But I really dig the look of this. Uh, the fit and finish is nice on it, except for one small thing. The blade on this is probably about one or two millimeters over there to the right. Uh, that might be fixable very easily by just making a little bit of a pivot adjustment on it, but since it's an apex lift knife and it's not my knife, I'm not going to mess with that at all. The micarta is good. They call it tan. It looks a little more brownish, but tan's a good description. It'll probably patina in and be more brown like this. It's got good texturing to it. Nice rounded chamfered edges. I like that as well. The ergos are really solid on this knife. There are multiple hand positions here. You can hold it back here in hammer grip. Here's my large glove size hands. You can move up on this little flat here and hold it in this position. You can bring your hand forward. Another thing that's really nice is that they did three sets of jimping on this. There's one up here. If you're right up at the front of the blade doing work like this, right? There's jimping here. If you're in this forward troil position to put your thumb on right there, right before this goes over the edge on this sheep's foot blade. And then there's jimping back here in this position if you're holding the knife either here or you're holding it say like this. You can get both of these, both of these hand positions pretty comfortably. So good job on the ergos. The deployment of the knife is really, really good. I'm not good at flicking, but this thing fires right out there. Drops closed with authority. That is very, very likable. One of the things I mentioned in a lot of my reviews is balance. This knife is perfectly balanced. Right there, there's my finger, right there at the back of the pivot. Look at this thing. So it's, it feels effortless to hold in your hand when you're holding it anywhere around the pivot. When, you're, when your pinch point or grip point on the knife is up here, the knife feels perfectly balanced. It does not feel blade heavy or handle heavy. It just sets right there in your hand. I'm barely holding onto this thing. So two thumbs up for that. I love knives that are well balanced. This Concept Egress is one of those knives. Again, I talked about the jimping is well placed in all hand positions. Good to go there. And it's a good utility cutter. I mean, this knife, I did make, uh, cut open some boxes, break some boxes down with it. I didn't do any heavy cuts because that's, we're not allowed to do that through the apex, apex list. So this knife, yeah, for sure, good cutter, good utility cutter. And the other part about it that I really liked is it carries well. The clip actually is pretty functional, even though it's not all the way deep carry. Unless for most pants, it's gonna work good. If you're wearing something with really thick material on the pockets, it may be a little out here and go in a little stiff, but for lighter to medium weight pants, this thing is a dream. No issues, no harsh, sharp points here when you reach your hand in your pocket when you're carrying it. That's one of the things I always test when I carry, can I put my hand in and out of the pocket without the knife interfering with what I'm doing? That's a big plus for the egress as well. So, all positives. Are there any dislikes or issues with the knife? Well, I already mentioned that the knife is just a millimeter or two off center. It's hard to tell from this angle, but it's, it is noticeable if you really look at it closely. Again, I don't think that's a big deal, and I think a tiny pivot adjustment might fix that. And then the clip is not reversible, so lefties might not like that, but it's not an issue if you're right-handed at all. So let's do a quick size comparison for you. Let's knock one of those out. So here is the egress. And let's start with something that's generally the same shape and style knife as this. This is the Wii Roxy 3. So you can see the Roxy is a lot smaller, obviously. 
it definitely has a shorter blade if I'm gonna go like this so you can see properly, right? Same basic kind of blade shape, smaller blade, less cutting edge here, and then the scales are about, yeah, I would say half an inch shorter on the back edge. So that's next to the Wee Roxy. Let's show you another knife that's kind of in, that pe some people are familiar with, a lot more people probably, and this is the Spyderco Yojimbo, the murdered out version, and from the pivot to the handle, it's about the same length, but the Yojimbo has some cr kind of this crazy scalloping on it, which is not always comfortable for all hands. I actually enjoy this knife, but not everybody does. But you can see that the blade length here is about a quarter of an inch, roughly, shorter than the egress, so a little less cutting area than the egress on the Yojimbo. And then finally, I'll just show you a knife that's kind of new because I think it's cool just to give you some size comparison. Here's the, here's the Devo knives. This is the newest growler, pivot to pivot, and you can see the growler is about a half an inch shorter on overall blade length from the pivot, and then about three eighths of an inch shorter in handle length. But they both have fairly simple designs on the handle so you know both have good ergonomics but just give you an idea of size okay so there we go so let me summarize this at 110 to about 115 dollars that's what this particular knife sells for it does come in a couple of different finishes and colorways there's a stone washed in black so there's a couple of options on what it looks like this knife is a winner in my book it has really really good ergos s35 bn steel well-placed jimping, nice action, and the knife carries in your pocket fantastic for a knife this size. It's a pretty good size knife, right? A little bigger than a Yojimbo. A little, it, it definitely has a longer feel, and like I said, if you have bigger hands, you won't have any trouble getting them on this sucker, but it's a good knife. I personally want to add the egress to my collection. So there you have it, folks concept egress thanks for checking it out thanks for watching my channel please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoy the content that's all i got for you today thanks for watching and stay sharp